So because I've spent ages looking at women's loafers in white and black and loads of colors, I wanted white because I wanted a pair for the summer. Slides are great, but we do a lot of walking around the cities in Europe and I always end up with really sore shins because we don't walk a lot in Las Vegas. It's always too hot, too cold, too windy, and everything's so spread out. Last year I had really bad shin pain. So this year I kind of wanted, I don't want to walk around in sneakers in the day. I decided I would go for white loafers because I figured black's too heavy for the summer. I didn't want to do a color because it's going to date. White's a really, really classic style. And the Sam Edelman was one of the highest rated that were non-designed. They were such a good price point. So these are the Sam Edelman Lorraine leather loafers with the horse bit. And I personally think the horse bit is just a really classic style. It's very timeless. Obviously, you can do it without the gold, but I also tend to wear a lot of gold right now, so it kind of ties in with everything. They come in the dust bags, which is great. I ordered my normal size. I ordered a 37, which it says is a UK 4, but obviously, you can hear my accent. I am English. I would say a 37 is actually a UK 4. I don't think it's a half size. I would say a 37.5 is a 4.5. They should go in whole sizes, so... Maybe the sizing just runs slightly differently, but then you would think it'd be a 37.5. Anyway, they come in the little dust bags and I didn't want to do a chunky sole. I didn't want to, I wanted something very, very classic and timeless so I could wear it year in, year out. I love the Gucci ones. Obviously they are absolutely beautiful, but they're a much higher price point. And I think, I don't know if I'm going to wear these more than one season. I know I said it's a classic timeless style, but I just feel like I like to keep current. I like to wear trendy things as long as they're comfortable. Maybe it'll be something different next year, but that's what they look like really close. So I think that's really nice. I do notice the bottom is a smooth sole. That kind of concerns me that it might slip, but I can always change out the soles. I can have the cobbler do something to that. That's not really a big deal. The main thing for me is comfort and the aesthetic. And I think because I'm petite, a chunky sole isn't always flattering. I kind of want that smaller, neater look. So let's pop them on. Okay, I literally couldn't have chosen a worse time of the day to shoot. If the lighting's off, I'm so sorry. I have the sun blaring at me and... I wanted to put these on. I'm really impatient. When things come in, I want to unbox them. I want to share them with you and I want to get going. If you hear scratching, it's because my cat is in the box right in front of you, digging away. He is absolutely obsessed with boxes and plastic. If you watch my YouTube or read the blog, you know you've seen them, you've met them, you know who my fur babies are. Okay, so as soon as I feel them, I feel the leather is super soft, what I really like about them. The gold isn't too chunky on the horse bit. It's quite dainty. And then feeling, oh wow, I have to show you this. That padding right there on the heel is a genius. That's gonna feel so good on. And it has, you can't see it, but the whole sole is super padded. And like I said, I got these for walking instead of sneakers. So I need them to be comfortable. I didn't get them just for an everyday shoe because I figure I can use my slides for that. Okay. They're pretty wide and I have wide feet. Okay, so they are actually way too big. I'm gonna try going down half a size if they do half sizes, otherwise I'm gonna to have to go down a full size because they are like boats on me, unfortunately. And yeah, that's not gonna work even when my feet are hot and swollen.